A lot of you in the comments of my Ezio versus Connor video were suggesting a comparison between Bayek and Altair, two of the founders, so to speak. Well, Bayek was a literal founder of the Hidden Ones, while Altair led and changed the creed into what we know it as in many of the AC games after AC1. Both of these characters had tremendous influence over the Brotherhood and made massive contributions, probably more so than any other two assassins in this series which is exactly why it's going to be so fun to compare these two in numerous categories and try to determine who is the better assassin. So first and foremost, I want to talk about the legacy these two assassins left behind and their influences over the Brotherhood because both were such influential members. Bayek, of course, started this whole thing, so his influence and legacy is absolutely paramount to the Assassin's Creed. Without him, it just doesn't exist, as simple as that. And and Bayek of course created the very ideals and beliefs the assassins would strive for. His legacy is perfectly represented with all those assassins missing their little ring fingers. However, Altair arguably had just as much influence as Bayek, and without him, the creed either would have become extremely corrupted or just collapsed. So while Bayek and his contributions came first, Altair's are just as important. Taking the creed back from a boss, moving them out of Masyaf Castle and to smaller bureaus scattered across the globe and further enforcing the assassin ideology of protecting free will. It does seem that Altair ultimately is remembered and idolized more by future assassins, especially with Ezio. Bayek's character of course didn't exist in those older AC games, but he is mentioned in Valhalla, so it's safe to assume his legacy is still somewhat well known as well. I think it's a tie when it comes to legacy and influence. The Creed wouldn't exist with without either of them. Both of these characters made great leaders as well. We didn't get to see as much of Bayek as a mentor as we did for Altair in Revelations, but it's still safe to assume that Bayek had recruited plenty of Hidden Ones, as was especially evident at the end of Origins, and was key in teaching and leading his constituents. However, Altair had to face a lot more adversity as a mentor for the Creed. He killed Al Mualim, who before using the Apple, was very respected by the assassin and he had to decide the best course of action in regards to the Apple, which in the wrong hands could cause immense destruction. Altair really stepped up as a leader, and even when Abbas betrayed and cast him out, he was unwilling to give up on his brothers and the creed he had devoted his life to. I mean, Altair led a coup in his 80s. He came back and saved the creed and provided assurance and guidance to a lot of the assassins who had enough of Abbas's leadership. And then he continued to serve as mentor all the way into his 90s. Masyaf was his retirement home. He was 90 and still calling the shots. The average life expectancy for a commoner in the 12th century was around 30 years old. Altair tripled that. And he was an assassin in multiple wars and deadly situations his whole life and was still in good enough shape to lead in his 90s. Like, Altair, what's your secret? The Apple give him some sort of life hacks to living long? Longer, or maybe it's that Izu DNA, I don't know. But as an assassin, I'd feel like I'm in good hands when my mentor has lived for as long as he has and has all this knowledge and experience when it comes to being an assassin and what that stands for. Now granted, maybe Altair has an unfair advantage here since we didn't get to see as much as Bayek as a mentor because Ubisoft cheated the man of a sequel, but I'd give the edge to Altair in leadership. As for some intangibles, which of these two was the wiser and more intelligent assassin. Obviously, old Altair was much wiser than the young man he was in AC1. I mean, that Altair was arrogant, selfish, overconfident, and he was basically untouchable, so he had nothing to humble him. That led to many rash decisions, and of course, that's his character arc in the first game. And you can clearly see how far he's come by his memories in Revelations. But Altair was never dumb. He didn't always have the best judgment, but he was still clearly always intelligent. I mean, you have to be to be a master assassin. You see on countless occasions in the first game, Altair crafts these plans for getting in and assassinating his targets. Bayek, on the other hand, was always naturally wise from when we see him in Origins. Even after his son's death and the character goes to a darker place, he retains that wisdom. Now sure, maybe sometimes his judgment is clouded by his moments of rage and hatred for those responsible 
responsible for his son's death, but he never had an ego problem like Altair. But again, old man Altair was clearly very wise and knowing, which is common for those older in age, of course. But we didn't have the pleasure of seeing Bayek in his later years, so it's a bit hard to compare. If we're talking Altair from AC1 versus Bayek, I'd say Bayek certainly has the advantage in wisdom, while Altair I think has a slight leg up in intelligence, especially when it comes to being an assassin and taking out targets. As for stealth, I think Altair is clearly better here. Of course he had the benefit of years of assassin training, he had to infiltrate lots of cities, use social stealth, which Bayek did not learn in Origins. I'd have to imagine he eventually did, but we never see it, so. Altair is generally the more skilled assassin, and stealth is a huge part of that, because he had the proper training and experience. Bayek was a Medjai, I don't believe the art of stealth was a main focus in his duty as a protector. And like I said, Altair was great at investigating and coming up with these plans to infiltrate areas and bring peace to his targets, so to speak. Whether it was crowd blending, pickpocketing, eavesdropping, I think it's also safe to say he was more skilled when it came to parkour and moving through cities. As for combat ability, both are great fighters but have very different styles. Again, Altair was practically raised as an assassin, his fighting style is a lot more technical and precise, he's a master of the blade. Bayek fights in a more scrappy and brutal kind of style, he relies a lot on his physical strength and overpowers his enemies. Bayek is physically stronger, but I believe Altair is more skilled with a blade. If these two were to fight, I mean it could really go either way, but I'd probably put my money on Altair personally. Either way though, both of them are terrifying to go up against. In general, they are both scary. In my Who's the Scariest Assassin video, I said Bayek was the scariest because of the way he killed those Order of Ancient members. But Bayek still has a moral compass and shows compassion to those deserving of it. Altair doesn't really have that. If you're in his way, he will kill you. He doesn't care if you're a good person or not. He executes witnesses, he even killed an innocent man for basically no reason at the start of AC1. Of course he gets better at following the tenants and sparing the innocent, but he is still ruthless. So I think for obvious reasons, both of these assassins are among the best in the series. Not only for their physical and mental attributes, but for their insanely important contributions and influence over the Brotherhood throughout the centuries. These are probably the only two characters, except for maybe Ezio, where I can confidently say the Creed wouldn't exist without them. That's how important their contributions were. But of course, we can only have one winner, and of the two, the better assassin, in my opinion, is gonna be Altair. Now I understand the argument that Bayek came first, but that doesn't make Altair's feats any less important. He faced so much adversity as an assassin, and he changed the creed and allowed it to survive. I mean, if it weren't for him, all the assassins would have continued to be controlled by Al Mualim, and then who knows what the future of the creed would have looked like. That'd be a fun alternate ending to explore. But I do also find Altair to be a more skilled assassin. Not that it's Bayek's fault, he of course founded the Hidden Ones, so he never really received assassin training of his own, but in terms of just pure assassin skill, Altair may just be the best in the series. He excels at stealth and is a master with a blade in his hand. There's very few, if any, assassins in this series that I feel could be Altair in a one-on-one -on -one fight. But as always, this is all just my opinion. Feel free to leave who you think the better assassin is and why down in the comments, and feel free to leave some suggestions for which two assassins or just characters in the series in general you'd like to see go head-to-head -head next. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you left a like and considered subscribing to the channel if you're new. Big thank you to my members for supporting the channel, and other than that, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day, assassins.